Hello friends, you are watching data structures using C. All the videos are brought to you by Angpro Training from Angpro Technologies. Hello friends, in this video I am going to explain you the graphs, uh, the graphs in the data structure. So far we have learned so many data structures. So this is another kind of data structure. A graph is a non-linear data structure. So we have learned linear data structures called stacks, queues and linked lists. And normally we can find two kinds of non-linear data structures. One is tree and the other one is graph. So graph is a non-linear data structure where elements are arranged in a non-sequential order. That means no two elements are in the order. Right? Graph is also defined as ADT. So what is ADT? Abstract data type. It refers to the arrangement of data elements in the structure which is predefined. Right? The predefined arrangement of data elements in the memory and the predefined operations on that memory structure is called as abstract data type. Right? Every abstract data type uh, is defined by some rules. Say for example stack is an ADT. Uh, the arrangement of elements, insertion and removal and all the operations are predefined for that ADT. So every ADT has got the predefined representation of arrangement of elements in the memory location and predefined operations on the elements stored on the memory location. Right? So graph is also an ADT. It contains a set of points known as nodes or what I says and a set of links known as edges or ox which connect the vertices. Let us understand this by seeing the diagram. So here this is a graph. In this graph the lines are said to be edges. The line between A and B is an edge, A and C is an edge, uh, line between C and D, D and B and B and E all are edges. And the points or the nodes A, B, C, D, E are called vertices or uh, each point is called as vertex, right? Vertex or node. This is edge or an arc, right? And you can also define the graph as a graph G is represented as G equals to V comma E, set of V comma E, where V is set of vertices and E is set of edges. So V equals to A, B, C, D, E. V is the set of all vertices. A, B, C, D, E are the vertices here. So the set of vertices is represented with the character V and E equals the set of edges. Here the edge A, B connecting A and B and the edge A, C connects A and C. Uh, edge B, D connects B and D. Edge B connects B and D. C, D connects C and D. Right? So these are the edges. There are five edges and five vertices in this graph. Right? So why should we need this graph? What are the applications of graphs in real world? Places connected by road uh, can be represented using the graph. If you are living in a city, uh, you can point out many places and you can connect all those places by the road. There is a road between place A and place B and there is a road between place B and C and C and D as well. So if you want to move from place A to place D, you travel along through these roads, right? So you can use uh, the graph to represent or depict uh, the places connected by roads. And friends on Facebook. So the friends on Facebook are also represented using the graph. Say A is a friend of B and C. So there is an act between A and B and A and C. So E is a friend of B, so there should be an arc between B and E as well, right? So like this, mm, you can uh, connect all the friends on the Facebook by, uh, by a line or by the arcs. Obviously, we use graphs in computer networks because many computers are connected together. One computer is connected to other computers and with the switch, with the router, we can depict the computer networks using the graph and the Google Maps also uses graphs, etc. So now let's understand what are the different types of graphs. The directed graph where all the edges are directed to the nodes. Here the edge 
uh, between A and B is directed from A to B. That means you can move only from A to B. And edge between A and C is directed towards C. That means you can move only from A to C, uh, not C to A, right? And the same is true with C and D, and D and B, and B and E. In the directed graph, all edges are directed towards some nodes, right? So in the undirected graph, there won't be any directed edges uh, between the nodes. There is just a line. Uh, this means you can move away from you can move from A to B or B to A in any way you like, right? Weighted graph. In weighted graph, all edges have some weights associated uh, with them. Here, the edge between A and B has got the weight 80. Uh, this may be anything. Uh, this may be time taken to reach B from A or the cost involved in reaching B from A or anything it may be. Here, all edges uh, got some weight associated with it and they should be the positive integer. Normally, we represent the weight with positive integers and the complete graph. In a complete graph, every edge connects a pair of nodes, right? In a graph, every edge is connecting two nodes, then you can call it as complete graph. So that's it. In the next video, we'll be learning the different operations, how, how we can represent the graph in the memory structure, and what is the C programming code for that and everything. Well, friends, that's it for the class. Subscribe to our channel on YouTube, like our page on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and join our group on LinkedIn. Thank you.